Hello and welcome to 2349 West Lawn here in the highly desirable neighborhood of Oak Creek Kettering. This street, West Lawn here, I love the street. We have huge mature trees. When my wife and I were first looking at houses, this was one of, the, uh, mainly this street was one of the houses that, or one of the areas, excuse me, that we wanted to be just because the neighborhood is so nice here. We're close to the green, close to 675. Uh, just a great location here, but two car garage with a three car garage driveway, plenty of room for the basketball hoop. And this backyard goes right through. The backyard is, I believe, fully fenced. Great landscaping shed back there, tons of updates. We have brick and stone. Just great curb appeal on this home. This is a one layer dimensional shingle roof on here. Fantastic home, I'm excited to show it to you. Next, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so here I just walked through the front door and that is a updated front door. And once you walk in, we have this gorgeous stone wall and this is real stone. So really gives you a great feeling once you walk in. And then once you come in, Straight ahead, we have our sunken living room or family room here. It's just a small step down. And to the left takes us to our kitchen, dining room, family room. And then to the right takes us over to the four bedrooms. While we're here, we're just gonna go over and check out the bedrooms, but nice build in here for hanging your hats, your coats, your umbrella, put your shoes in there. Nice place so you're not tracking stuff through the house. All of this flooring is relatively new. I think just a couple years old. All of the light fixtures throughout the house are just a couple years old as well. Now I may have these bedroom sizes labeled differently online, but we're calling this for the purpose of this video, video or pit, bedroom number one. This is in the front middle of the home. The one thing I like about this house as well is the current owners have upgraded the energy efficiency. They put ceiling fans in the rooms and these are all on remotes. The whole entire attic has fresh blown in insulation, so should be pretty set away for energy efficiency here and a new window in this room as well. Bedroom number two is on the front right if you're looking at it from the street, ceiling fan in here as well. That looks like we have updated window over there. Carpet is not very old, double sliding closet in here. Bedroom number three, this is be on the right side of the house still if you're looking at it from the street, but in the middle. So the owner's suite is right next to this one, which is why this is the baby's room. Uh, closet over there. And then coming down the hallway to our left right here, we have the full guest bathroom. And this was literally just done. New vanities, um, pretty much everything in this bathroom has been updated like in the past week or two from shooting this video. Pantry cabinet back here in the bathroom. And then coming here, this is the owner suite because it has an adjoining bathroom. So we have double sliding closets over here. This will be on the back right. So this is the backyard here. And then another set of double sliding closets here. And this bathroom was completely remodeled um, like a couple years ago. So nice pedestal, or not pedestal sink, but the pedestal feet vanity here. And then the pedestal sink in here, so we have double sinks. And this looks like marble. I'm not sure if it is, but this looks like marble tile. Have a recessed light above there, and then our exhaust fan. So very, very nice bathroom. The flooring here, see if I can zoom in on that, looks like marble as well. And as I'm looking at this through the display, it's kind of yellowed in the display, but in person, this is a white tile. I don't know if the light is playing havoc with the camera or not, but it is not yellow. <laughs> it does not have a yellow hue. So those are our four bedrooms. We've seen four bedrooms, two baths. Coming back down, our coat closet here. And then this is where we started, right here on the entry. So our sunken family room here have a lot of build-ins. Build-ins galore in this home. This is a new electric, newer electric fireplace. New build-ins over here as well. And then build-ins here also. Updated window here, and this is a picture window with two sliders that overlook our awesome backyard 
we'll take a look at that here shortly. Going into the living, or we're in the living room, family room. We have a living room, family room, and rec room, and dining room all on one floor. So this is a sprawling ranch in every sense of the word. More build-ins over here. And then these doors were recaptured, reclaimed, and put up as sliding doors. We have a couple throughout the house. Kind of gives you that... I think they were from like the 1800s or the late 1800s, something like that. But look at the openness of this. This is the kitchen over here, laundry and garage access over there, dining room, and this seats two, four, six, eight, ten comfortably at this table. And you could have a bigger table if you needed it. Have a fireplace there. This is real brick here. More build-ins over here off of the kitchen. And then the kitchen here, we have updated tile backsplash. Uh, updated newer Whirlpool stainless steel range. GE microwave, LG dishwasher, all stainless steel. And refrigerator, refrigerator, all of those will stay with the home. Love the openness of here. Chandeliers, double chandeliers over the table. Recessed lights in here. Great, great, uh, great, great, great room. This is our utility room, plenty of room. Have a, like an antique mud sink type of thing here. And then another big double closet here. Doors have been taken off. This is the door to the garage and then a half bathroom strategically located just off the kitchen and the garage. Our newer water heater is in this room. Our furnace is also in this room. We have updated air conditioning, updated water heater. Um, a lot of the windows have been updated. Uh, the roof has been updated. The deck's been updated. So those uh, antique doors will slide shut to give you separation from the room. And then our fireplace here, I believe this is an old wood burning. Well, not old, but you know, wood burning fireplace. And this would be the spot where you put the wood. Not currently in use. More build-ins, recessed area for the TV in here, and then the door that goes to the side yard is right there. And then boom, we have a rec room addition. Kind of like a dry bar right here. That's a little mini fridge that you could put there or you could put a trash can, whatever you want. More of the recaptured doors here, more build-ins, build-ins galore with the bookshelves in here. So these doors slide open. to show the large TV. So again, some doors from the 1800s or 1900s. This room was completely remodeled. It does have a mini split system in here and that thing works great according to the owners. New sliding door. And again, all the windows in this room are new. And then this little secret bomb shelter room here is the little office or homework area. If you need to call the White House, there you go. And I'm going to show you the backyard because the backyard is just great with all of the trees. But let me give you one more look of the family room. And this is all vaulted ceilings in here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm sure I'm forgetting some of the updates that have been done. But deck was just painted. Handrail is uh, basically new. Coming around the corner here. Corner here and the, the original house is full brick. And then, of course, the addition is wood, but the whole entire house is wood brick. <laughs> wood brick. Wood siding with the original house being brick. Sorry, I'm excited about this house. Little stone flower bed there. And this backyard goes deep. It goes way back to the telephone pole. So it goes well beyond the soccer net there. And again, just I love the mature trees in this neighborhood. Custom built shed aka playhouse for the kids or just place to store all of your stuff raised flower beds which are being used as a garden we have some nice uh vegetables growing on the vine here tons i mean tons and tons of landscaping has been done to this property with vegetation plants all of these trees owner planted all of these trees that line the whole property to give you some privacy while you play back here with the kiddos or the dogs.
And then around the side here, it's a cool little area here on the side. We have another shed right here, a little composting thing, a little uh, picnic table. It's just really cool back here and it's all fenced. This is our air conditioning for the mini split and then this is our newer air conditioner for the house. Our electrical panel has been upgraded as well. So you can see why I love this neighborhood. It is just highly sought after. I've wanted, my wife and I wanted to live in this neighborhood when we were looking for a house and we don't, but we wanted to and just a great neighborhood, great community to call home. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to answer any questions for you or show you this fine home because houses in this area do not last long. So thanks for watching and I look forward to talking to you.